So this is how you unbox and set up your Mercury's AX1800 dual band Wi-Fi 6 router. This is the Mercusis AX1800 dual band Wi Fi 6 router. The model is MR70X. We're going to unbox this router and get it connected to our Singtel modem and set it up for use. So here are the package contents. It has got the AX1800 Wi-Fi 6 router, MR70X, the power adapter, the quick installation guide, and a flyer that explains why you can't connect to Wi-Fi 6 products wirelessly, and the RJ45 Ethernet cable. This is a CAT5E cable. Let us take a look at the router. It has got four antennas. And at the back, these are the ports. It's got the power port, a reset button or WPS button. It has got one WAN port and three LAN ports. Very simple construction. This is the Singtel optical network router that we are using in our home. We need to plug the Ethernet cable from the ONR to the Mercusis router itself. Next, plug the power adapter into the wall socket. With the other end of the wire, plug it into the power port on the router over here finally with the ethernet cable plug into the optical network router plug the other end into the WAN port on the Mercusis router itself over here So once the Ethernet and power cable has been plugged in, let's turn on the power at the wall socket for the router. Once the router is powered up, you will see a green LED at the front. Next, let's head over to our computer so we can configure the router for use. On the computer, do a search for wireless network. You can see Mercusis is one of the wireless network. We'll select 5G. Let's connect. For the wireless password, there is a label at the bottom of the Mercusis router. Check it and key in the wireless password or PIN. Once the password is keyed in, go to Next. Your Mercusis router is now connected wirelessly to your computer. The next step, open the browser and key in the following URL. This is the Mercusis UI. You need to create an admin password to access the router. Let's create one.
Once the password is key in, let's get started. Select your time zone. Go to next. For connection type, we'll leave it as auto detect dynamic IP. Go to next. For dynamic IP, we'll use the default MAC address. Go to next. We'll set each band separately. You can change the password for each band, but we'll leave it as is. Go to next. The settings are applied successfully. So this is how you unbox and set up your Mercury's AX1800 dual band Wi-Fi 6 router. Select finish.